Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Lemil Body Combat Overview. I believe I completely butchered the pronunciation because I did it in French, and I could care less if it's correct or not. Dude, if you're introducing complicated names to your projects, like, you're making it hard on literally everyone, doesn't matter if it's after your surname, brand, who cares? So Lemil seems to be an exercise workout routine where I don't know what you do honestly. Move your body and hands in boxing or martial arts style, literally just punching through the air. You know, I can enjoy some exercise in VR, of course. Literally every game does that though. Like if you're searching to get tired, then every application kinda applies to that. Just depends on your movement creativity. Now looking at this trailer, I mean, come on, it's pure cringe fest. You know what I hate the most? Empty hype shit. I don't even understand how you would to get fit in it. If I'm imagining exercise in general, this is so far out of ordinary that I guess you can just get tired from moving around, but like if I'm thinking so far what I've tried, if you're not using external devices such as a rowing machine, a bike, stuff that you use while being in VR and following the instructions in the environment, I can see it work, but listening to some motivational speeches while swinging your arms like you'll be playing a cheap version of any room game that uses punching mechanics that you claim is very very innovative and new. I hate that I'm already going negative into the experience, I just hate the presentation in general. Something about overconfidence really rails me up and I hope I'll be proven wrong, but on the first glance I don't see it, so let's see with the second one. My head strap is finally cracking, so if it's gonna break because of this game, I'm gonna be pissed. Welcome to the Body Combat Fitness Lab. I'm Rach and I'm here to guide you on your journey to a fitter and more powerful you. We're about to step into a whole new world, in fact, multiple worlds, where you get to let loose and explore mixed martial arts based fitness, taking your fitness to the next level. By the end of this journey, you'll be feeling fitter, stronger and ready to take on anything. But before we start, in order to calculate your gains in fitness, strength and power, there's a few things we need to know first. Okay, lady, calm down. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm that short? Hmm, oh, female. Oh, nice. Great. Dan will now walk you through all you need to know to get the most out of every workout. I like the recording. It feels very real. What's up everyone, I'm Dan. I'm gonna take you through two most common stances you'll see as well as two great strikes. First one is what we call our front stance. Feet are wider than the shoulders, chest is up, abs are braced, bend your knees, that's where you get the power from. And then we've also got what we call the combat stance where you split the legs, distribute your weight forward and back and you do it on one side and the other. Now the punch is lead punch, bang is the jab. You take it directly out and back, Soft elbow, power in the shoulder, follow up with a huge cross. Just notice how the shoulder, the hips, and the heel all rotate as one down the middle of the line so you absolutely break the target. And so why don't you give that a try? I know certain techniques like that because I trained... So let's start in a left combat stance. Put your hands up and already we're going to throw a left jab. That's purple. And now green, let's throw a right cross. Awesome. Tuck your chin down, little tempo, turn the shoulders, awesome fully extend. Did you hit the middle of the target there? Great, so let's try it on the other side. Right stance, hands up, good, lean forward and strike, soften the knees, release the back heel. Excellent, you've got this, this is perfect. Just keep the elbow soft, awesome. The harder you punch the targets, the bigger the rings you'll see exploding out of it. So strike hard and give it all you've got. All right, let me take you through two more upper body strikes. It's the uppercut and the hook. We'll do this one from a wide front stance. You can do it from a combat stance. So the uppercuts, we're leaning to one side, waiting for the target to come in, and we come up and under. So you wanna take your fist up through the center line, wait for the target, and break it. The other one is the hooks. Now these are circular punches. Do this with me now, practice, go. Your elbows are up, you let the shoulders rotate, and why don't you give that a try? All right, so we're gonna do this in a front stance. So feet nice and wide. Here's that first move. It's an uppercut, left arm. And now your right arm. So load, bend, and lift up. Now hook, so we wanna preload, so we rotate inwards. And now your right side, turn inwards. Excellent. Let's go back to the uppercut. Roll shoulders forward. And now hooks, turn body, release heel. One big one. Nailed it, you're a professional already. 
You did it, so you're ready for the next move. Squats and dodges, otherwise known as slips. Now the squats, your feet start nice and wide outside the line of the shoulder, chest up, abs brace, wait for the wall and you squat underneath. Push the knees out, stand up. Great training for your legs, right? Now the other one you could do from either combat stance, right, or front stance, and you're slipping and dodging. A wall comes at you, you've got to take both shoulders out the way, that's gonna train the muscles of your core. Give that a try. Get into a front stance. All right, the wall's coming on your right, which means you've got to slip to your left. So move your shoulders out the way and change direction. And now wide squat. Stand up, slip to your left, go. To your right, squat down, chest up, brace abs. Now lean to your left and hold. Hold, 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 hold. Lean to your right and hold. Awesome. Now you're going to squat down and stay down. Stay down, brace your abs. And then lift up nice and tall. Awesome. Yeah, great movements. Three strikes. We've got the sky punches, the battle rope slams, and the hammer strikes. Now, the sky punches usually start in a wide squat, look directly above you, and you, boom, hit them directly above your head. The battle rope slams, you start up, watch the targets, and you come down, all right? That's a great one for your heart rate. Now, the hammer fists, they could be different. You might do single arms. They might have two targets where you've got to hit them at the same time. And so enjoy it, and why don't you give that a try? <laughs> all right, so let's practice those strikes. From a wide front stance, it's a left sky punch. You ready? Left hand, now. Same thing on the right. Both hands together, center of the target. Yeah, you nailed it. All right, so we're going to change it up. These are hammer fists. Bending at the elbow, striking down like you're going to beat a drum. You ready? Left hand now. Right side, you've got this. Both hands together and pow. <laughs> All right, left to the side, right to the side. Both hands out to the side. Now let's just finish above your head. Go. Yeah, really good stuff. Okay, I actually like it. Alright, ready to start your journey? Click on the first recommended workout and let's get you going. Very professional looking, very easy to understand, clear instructions, clear movement. Everything seems to be working so far, so am I gonna be retracting my statement? I'm not like, you know, a pro, but neither a newbie. 20 minutes seems to be a lot. Let's do this total body smash. What's okay, happening here? I'm, uh, I'm getting excited about this next one, yo. Yeah, feel like, feels like it's gonna be one of the best. Must be a uh, time to go. Warm? Ready? Let's go. Wait a minute, multiplayer? Oh, great selection. Basic, under 15 minutes, total body smash. Good luck. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're going to be starting with the slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. You're going Excellent. down. There's only two more now. Full range. Soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go, left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move, left uppercut and hold. Now the right, back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace, let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind, it feels good. I think the beats are a bit too early. Okay, catch your breath. We're gonna do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now, bang. You're gonna wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top, 
squeeze the controller. We're gonna go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll, let's get the core in. We're gonna hit the triple shot. Right, left, right, bang. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I think nice. it's too early. And again. We not say to the music, the not to the anything. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm. Right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo. Here it comes, a little quicker, go. Rolling, rolling, driving, bend your knees. Start to get in the swing of things. Four more, four, three, two, one. Awesome, so let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. <laughs> oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Uh -huh. Now we're going to stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up uh, slow. That's what we call a finisher. <laughs> How was that? Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Time breaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something is off with the beat. I think it's because it's not a rhythm game. Ah, oh, big move, eh? You clicked on to kill a Cyclops training. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you're ready for it. Front stance. There's a target coming. Don't miss the first one, just saying. The same, don't miss the first one. Where is it? Left side, left side, left side, go, go, go. Well done, all right, now where's it coming? Bottom right, bottom right. Yep, top right. Now bottom left, so we're using one hand to punch opposing sides of what the room. Bend your knees, rotate the shoulder, drive down. It's called a downward punch. You've got a hammer to the top corner. Now use your core a little bit faster, watch this, up and down. Oy. One smash to the corner and one drive down into the floor. So you're going to bend your knees and your lower body's going to feel like it's in a soft lunge. So imagine you're dominating the arena and you're driving that punch down into the ground like the superheroes do. I don't get it. Like the superheroes do? Yeah, like the superheroes do. Feel a stretch in your chest. Feel a little bit of heat in the legs if you got it right. And feel some cardio effect. Getting your hands over your head really brings that cardio. Practice over people. Oh. Left foot forward. Let's see what you got. It's Four different color. Jabs, left side. Now up and down. Left side. Twice. Back to the power jabs. Man, that feels good, doesn't it? It feels good, but it doesn't look so good right now. Can you, like, lift your elbow a little? Yes. Lift your... Now you're talking. Get that knuckle right in the middle of the target. Now shift your body weight forwards and back. Lean into that jab. Lean in, lean in. Not lean back. Lean in. Now lean in. Push off that back foot. That's it. I know heart rate. Hey, heart rate. Whoosh. All right, we're going to do that again. Rachel was the hero. I don't mind being the villain. I don't mind being the person that's going to push you. I don't mind being the person that's going to challenge you. Come on. Now this target. Top right. Yeah, where is it? Come on, turn hips, shoulder now, boom. You've even got to release your heel, try that. Look at it, look at it, release heel turn and whip. Excellent. So let's spend a little bit of time on this side now, trying to get some full range. We want to maximize muscle usage. We want to fit in the shoulders, the back, the legs, the core. Don't settle for anything less than your very best. Come on, I'm not here to wrap you up in cotton wool. I'm here to push you. You put your right leg forward. Now the jabs. Oh, yeah. Come on, take it out on the targets. Take your frustration out on the targets. We never keep anything built up on the inside in life. Let's not let that happen. Let's not be that person. Come on. That's why we do something like this. We externalize the force outwards. 
Yeah! And so by the time we finish this, we're going to feel really great about ourselves and about our environment. Come on! Now lean into the strike. That's how you're going to get more weight behind every single punch. Great. So now we're going to continue that alignment, continue the range, come into a nice wide front stance. We're going to be alternating these targets. You know what to do. Just hit the center of them. Good, you got that one. Yep, you got that one. I'm looking at your combo score right now. Oh, yeah. See, you're not missing. You're dialed in. You're focused. You're a winner. Oh, my God. Yes. Dig deep now. Come on. Just you and the rhythm of the music. Things are about to get faster. Rage says put on your superhero outfit. I say wear any outfit. Ready for the triple shot? Go! Three! Two! Same arm, same side! Now switch it! Now switch it! Left side! That's an up down. All around counter workout. We're going big with intensity. And there's something about standing your ground and going three times in a row that feels really dominant. Boom! Bend your knees, come on, reach up. Get on your toes. If you're short like me. Well done. Smashed it. <sighs> All that technique's paying off. 90%, good one. It's interesting that they adapt to your performance and then say certain stuff. It's very high polish. I feel like I can push definitely further. I'm a little bit sweaty, but not as sweaty as I was playing Power Beats, for example. Like, there, my legs were dead. The commentary, like, in the beginning and middle is fine. At the end, it starts to be a little bit cringy. I guess I'm just the person that doesn't care about this motivational bullshit. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. That's my philosophy. I do like this comparison in the multiplayer. It's very very smart in terms of mentality like you want to perform better because you compare yourself to others i wish we would have other like kind of ai next to you doing the workout just like i saw in the videos i still don't really see how you can do a full body workout definitely the glutes hips legs maybe a little bit of shoulders but that's it everything on quest and in vr essentially is cardio like you're not gonna find anything more complicated than that i do like the professional feel the ui environments look very polished the only grip I think I have is the notes coming too fast according to the music and the commentary. I don't know if it's intended. I feel like if it would be like, I don't know, maybe half a second later then everything else would kind of compile all together to be very smooth. If I'm gonna be exercising in it, probably not, but this is the most polished thing I've seen so far on Quest. A lot of thought went into it and I appreciate it.